Hi, I'm Eunice. You're listening to Grammar Matters, a series of podcast episodes from the English Language Institute of Singapore. Grammar Matters aims to help listeners become more aware of areas of English language use in Singapore which do not follow standard English conventions and which may be confusing to other speakers of the language. Hello, I'm Paul Doyle and you're listening to Grammar Matters. In this episode, we're talking about describing things and in particular using adjectives, but not just any adjectives. We're looking at adjectives that are formed from verbs. Let's begin by listening to a radio advertisement for a fashion outlet. Looking to update your wardrobe? Come to Fashion Fabric's most excited sale of the year and you'll get the best bargains in town. We guarantee that you'll be satisfying with the excellent quality of our new range of clothes for men, women and children. Our clothes make even the most ordinary person look very fashion. Prices are reasonable and clearly marked on every item. We are opened from 9am to 11pm. So come down to 100 Orchid Road today and bring your whole family. Did you notice the mistakes the announcer made? Instead of saying most exciting sale, she said most excited sale. And instead of saying you'll be satisfied, she said you'll be satisfying. There were some other mistakes. Did you hear them? In this episode of Grammar Matters, we're looking at adjectives. As I'm sure you know, adjectives are words that we use to describe things. I'm sure you will know that there are many attributes we can describe, for example, colour, shape, size, and so on. Some adjectives come from nouns and verbs. By adding groups of letters to the end of the noun or verb, we change it to an adjective form. For example, by adding the letters A and L to the noun nation, we can make the adjective national. Similarly, by adding the letters E, N and T to the verb differ, we can make the adjective different. We call these groups of letters, such as A-L and E-N-T, suffixes. There are many adjectives which come from verbs. These adjectives end with the letters I-N-G or E-D. Sometimes people confuse the meaning of these adjectives, as we heard in the radio advertisement earlier with the verbs excite and satisfy. There's quite a big difference between saying you are excited and saying you are exciting. So what can you do if you're confused about the use of these ing and ed adjectives? Well, one way to think about the difference between the two forms is to think about the meaning that the suffix adds to the word. Many ing adjectives are used for describing the effect something has on your feelings or your ideas. For example, an alarming increase in COVID cases. A surprising number of men do not marry. A welcoming smile, a convincing example, an exciting idea. Another common use for ing adjectives is to describe a state or a process. For example, her growing band of supporters. Impossible meat restaurants are doing a booming business. A life of increasing labour and decreasing happiness. For ED adjectives, the meaning is often related to a transitive verb and has a passive meaning. That is, these adjectives show that something has happened or is happening to a thing or a person that's being described. For example, a frightened person is a person who has been frightened by something. Compare this with a frightening person. This is someone who frightens other people. Likewise, we can say a satisfied customer is one who is pleased by the service she has been given. Compare this with a satisfying customer. Hmm. Sounds a bit odd, doesn't it? Are we talking about a customer who satisfies store assistants? 
It seems unlikely, and that sense of something odd or unusual might just be the clue you need to know that what you meant to say all along was satisfied customer. Some people can be confused about the right form of adjective to use. Is it ing or ed? For example, it's quite common to see signs that read, this shop is opened. What the writer meant to write was, this shop is open. In this case, we don't need to use either an ing or an ed adjective because we have the adjective open that we can use to describe the shop. Let's listen one more time to the advertisement on the radio. This time, you will hear the correct version with the right form of the adjectives. Looking to update your wardrobe? Come to Fashion Fabric's most exciting sale of the year and you'll get the best bargains in town. We guarantee that you'll be satisfied with the excellent quality of our new range of clothes for men, women and children. Our clothes make even the most ordinary person look very fashionable. Prices are reasonable and clearly marked on every item. We are open from 9am to 11pm, so come down to 100 Orchid Road today and bring your whole family. The Grammar Matters podcast series is brought to you by the English Language Institute of Singapore. We would like to thank the Regional Language Centre of the Southeast Asia Ministers of Education Organisation for allowing the use of material from their Grammar Matters publication. To find out more about the Ellis podcast, visit go.gov.sg forward slash ELIS podcast. Thank you for listening.